Hey guys, Trey back again with another video. And in this video, I want to continue on with what we were doing with the MySQL database and the Express server. So in the last video, I showed you guys how to externalize your sensitive data using a .env file, which we have here. So now it's pulling the information from this file and it's not in our source code. In today's video, I want to basically just make a more useful example of this whole setup. So right now we're using this test table, which really doesn't have any meaning. It's just a an example table. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another table and we're going to actually um, set up the endpoints um, to do CRUD actions on it. So create, read, update and delete. Um, in this video, we're probably not going to do all of those. We're definitely going to set up the table and uh, probably do a git on it. But um, it might take a couple of videos to get uh, the rest of the CRUD actions in. I don't want to make this video too long. So um, to start off with, we need to go ahead and create our new table. So you have to get into your MySQL instance. Um, I'm on my uh, Microsoft Windows instance right now so I'm logged into there so I'm going to use this MySQL command line client um, I'm using my root user so I'm just going to log in there if you are on Linux or Mac you're going to have to um, log in through the terminal using this command here so you would type MySQL dash u and then you would put your user I'm using root so it would be uh, root for me and then you type in dash p and then you hit enter type in your password and this will um, let you log into your MySQL instance and you will be exactly where we are now. So the first thing we want to do is we want to use our dat our uh, SQL test database that we created last time. So we're going to say use SQL test DB and we will change into that database. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is create a table and this table is going to be our ticket table. So if you've ever been at a job or something and you had an issue with like your computer or something, you would put a ticket in to the help desk team and then help desk will help you through that ticket until your issue is resolved. So we want to create that same thing here. And we need to do that by creating a ticket table that's going to hold all of our tickets. So first thing we need to do is create the table. So we're going to say create table, I'm going to call it ticket. And then we're going to have an ID field, which is a big int. It's going to be not null and auto increment. All right. The next thing we are going to have is a summary, which is basically going to explain what's happening in your ticket. So we're going to have a, it's going to be a text field. And it's also going to be not null. Next, we're going to have a priority field. So how important this is, it's going to be a var char. 255 and also not no and let's give it a default so it'll have a default of what's a good priority I guess low and then we'll have a status also of our char 255 and it will be not no and let's give it a default value of created all right so now we have that then the last thing we want is the let's do create date so this is the date that it was created on it's going to be a timestamp and then it'll be it'll default to current timestamp all right I guess we could do an update date too. So we'll do update date timestamp as well. And it'll default to current timestamp as well. All right. And last thing we need to do is set up our primary key to be ID. Then we'll close this out. All right, and now we have our table created. So if we want to take a look at our table, we can say describe ticket. 
all right and we can see all of our fields so we have our ID summary priority status the created date and the updated date so that's pretty much it for this table um, the next thing we need to do is update our user to be able to do more actions on this table because if you remember last time we set this up we only gave them the select we only granted them the select privilege so now we want to be able to allow them to do crud actions which would be um, select insert update and delete so the way we do this is we type in grant select update insert and delete on SQL test DB dot star we're going to give them access to all of the tables in this database and then we're going to say to SQL tester at localhost alright so this will give this user these privileges on this on any table in this DB alright so that is pretty much all we have to do in our MySQL instance so we can go back to our Visual Studio code and start making updates to this git request here so the first thing I want to do is actually change this from just um, a forward slash to forward slash all so we'll know that this is going to the endpoint to get all of our tickets so we're going to change this test to ticket and that will allow us to get everything from our ticket table that we just created we don't need to change any of this information because it's all still the same we're just changing the table all right and then we're also changing the endpoint to slash all okay so that will get every uh, ticket from our ticket table um, another thing we want to do is probably get one ticket at a time based off its ID so let's go ahead and create that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this over alright so now uh, we have this copy of the last one and I'm gonna change this to slash ticket and then we're going to uh, do another slash and we're gonna do a colon and then ID so this colon ID is going to be a path variable so this is going to change depending on which ticket you're looking for and we're going to be able to use that ID to select the right ticket from the table so underneath here we're going to want to get this ID okay so we're going to say const ID and then we're going to get it from the request so we're going to say request dot params dot ID and this is going to grab the ID right off of the path alright and now we have the ID here and we're going to use it to select from our table so we're going to say select star from ticket and then we're going to say where ID equals and then we're going to put this question mark here alright so we want to use this question mark because we want to set this whole query up as a prepared statement we do not want to do something like this because this will open you up to SQL injection and just yeah don't do that so let's get rid of that we're going to use this question mark and this question mark is going to be replaced by this ID uh, when we set this up here so after this um, after the actual sh the query string we're going to go here we're going to set up an array and inside this array we're going to put this ID so this ID will replace this question mark when this query is actually ran okay so that is uh, what we want there and then the rest of this is pretty much the same so we're going to try to get the um, ticket based off the ID if there's an error we'll, uh, we'll log the error we'll send the error to the client and we'll um, return if it's not an error then we'll just return the result so basically the ticket that was received alright alright so I think I'm going to stop here um, in the next video we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of these crud um, endpoints out there so right now we have just a couple of git so we can get all of the tickets and then we can get um, one ticket at a time um, that's pretty much it for this video like subscribe to the channel and all that jazz and I will see you guys in the next video